Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rob. I am also today a luchador, El Minotaur. But uh, I am here for RPG A Day 2019, the final day. This is the topic word of the day, last. Well, that's pretty easy. Started with first, ending with last. Um, so it's, I always get a little melancholy in the, the last of these RPG a day things. And today is kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, again, uh, an acknowledgement of what we've done. We've had a good journey. We've talked about a lot of different topics. I've opened up about some things about my life, but, you know, I tried to give good advice or uplifting stories and whatnot for the RPG a day crowd. And uh, I know this is on the internet, and maybe, you know, people down the road will still hear this and, and enjoy it too. I hope so. Um, because there's a lot of good stories going on out there. and There's a lot of good advice if you stop to hear it. But when talking about last, uh, I've already talked at one point about uh, the denouement. At the end of any good story, it's a good idea to have an ending that people can kind of, it was around, it was Lost, that was the topic, because the Lost TV show didn't have a very good ending, it didn't answer a lot of stories. In this case, my idea is good, good stories should have good endings uh, to cap them off. Um, in The Lord of the Rings, you have the entire journey home. Um, it's not long, it's not lengthy, it just sums up that the heroes get back to where they're from, they set their houses in order, and you know, they get rid of Sandy Man, and they get the Shire back, and they become upstanding members of the community, and Sam has a host of children, and uh, Frodo and, and Bilbo go off to the Elven Lands, and you know, it's, overall it's a good story. And we remember that. Uh, it was a gripping end, even if it was sad, because Ultimately, endings are often sad. It means you're not going to be doing this anymore. Um, there's no more stories left to do with this particular group. And campaigns often work the same way, especially if they're a lengthy campaign that you've invested time and care and concern into your characters for. Um, there's always a period of depression and separation uh, when you come to ends it's you know it's acknowledging in some cases mortality the time goes forward and you can't go backwards when a campaign is over and the books are closed and those characters will never be adventured with again um it's natural to feel a sense of loss uh these are a part of you that story is something that you spent time building and when it's all over yeah, you can't go back to it. All you can do is remember the times that you've had. Um, this is something that can get people awfully, awfully sad. Um, and it's natural. It is. I always think that it's a good idea after a campaign to not go immediately into the next thing. To maybe have a night to cool off, to remember the good times, to... Maybe it'll be the, the night that you have the denouement where you talk about what happens to all the characters at the end. Possibly. Or maybe it's just, you know, you get together out at the, you know, the tavern for a few drinks and, and, and talk about the great times that you had. Uh, that time that you rolled that great critical that finished off the, the particularly vile monster. Or everybody will joke about that time when you rolled a natural one in your saving throw and ran away out of the, the dungeon completely while the fight was going on. Um, and got teased about that through the rest of the campaign. There's, there's lots of different uh, things to be celebrated and to be remembered and carried forward from uh, these stories that we spin around each other or the great deeds that we do or the impressive times that we had the spotlight and we maximized it. Or, yeah, just as fun sometimes, is to talk about the times when we had the had everything going our way perfectly and it all just fell apart and we had to, to compensate for that and everyone else had to struggle because that one thing that seemed like a sure thing failed. Uh, that happens too. 
And again, sometimes losses and um, failure can be just as gripping and memorable as the greatest of triumphs. Um, but be kind to each other. Uh, this is something that everybody processes in a different way. Uh, it is almost inescapable, however, if you had any care or any concern with your character in your campaign, that you are going to feel something. Um, maybe it's a sense of relief if you've had a particularly trying campaign. I, I know that I have uh, certainly felt that way at the end of some campaigns, that either I didn't like the game and I'm looking forward to the next game, or uh, sometimes I can cheat, I can make the character for the next game and immediately look forward to playing that next character. Um, I try not to do that anymore because it takes away a sense of the character that you have. It's not always fair to the character that you've got. Um, but it can be a transition from one to the other in a way that you can get to that next step uh, a bit easier. Uh, there's there's a solidarity in a group, though, that's going through a loss. That's why we have all the ceremonies we do at the end of a person's life. Um, wakes, visitations, funerals. It's all a part of, not for the person who, who died, they're not feeling this anymore, but it's for those people who go on and have to endure the loss of reliving those last days or their last memories. Um, it's tough. It really is. These videos are, are something similar, too. I always feel like I could have done a little bit better with a particular topic, or, you know, I kind of wish I could go on into November and, and through November and make more and more videos. I don't want to do that, though. These do take quite a bit out of me. Uh, I know my output is never as good in August as they are through other times, because making these videos does take a bit of my time and effort, too. So... And doing it every day is a bit harder than putting one longer video together every week. So I'm looking forward to getting back onto a schedule where I can make more things and do more things. Uh, I've got a lot of half-finished projects that are just waiting for me. But we need to put this to bed. We need to give this the proper send-off that it deserves. So this video is... Again, the last video for 2019 for the RPG A Day. And it is my hope that looking back on all those times that we found something good, we found common grounds. Maybe we found a new channel to really, you know, enjoy. Um, maybe we took the opportunity to like and subscribe my videos. Just saying, it's out there. Um, whether it's the, the, the zany hats or, or you know, the... The, the fun of taking all these different takes at different topics. I don't know. Uh, I, I certainly hope that you enjoy what I do. I do. I enjoy what I do. Um, and if I didn't, I wouldn't do this. If you didn't enjoy this, I probably wouldn't do this either. But I do have some people who support me and, and, and like my stuff. So yeah, I keep doing it. But endings are important. They always have been. Uh, it's hard to give up something that you've enjoyed. And I have enjoyed these videos. I enjoyed almost every campaign that I've ever been in, playing different characters, getting into different roles. I've enjoyed running so many different campaigns. Um, but they all ended. Every single one. I've got one now. My, my own 5th edition campaign is rapidly drawing to its close. And once that ends, another one will spring up in its place, and we'll play another game. Uh, another one of my players has stepped forward and said he wants to run a short game. So that's exciting. Um, but it's not causing me to end my game early. Matter of fact, it just got extended a little bit. So um, it'll end soon, but in its time, it's to be celebrated. And until it finally ends, they'll all be sad that their first character... Well, the first characters all die. That was a TPK. But their first 5th edition campaign will be over. And they'll have that as their benchmark to judge any other, you know, 5th edition games they run or play in um, by. Uh, will they match up to it? Will they exceed what I've done here? Possibly. Um, it's a sure bet that the next thing that I do will be a lot more personal than, you know, running one of these adventure paths. As good as it was, 
and uh, The Prince of the Apocalypse was an excellent adventure. Um, I like to make mine more personal from me. So, uh, yeah, that's another ending that's coming up. So let's, let's draw this ending to a close rather than me just blather on. Uh, I do thank you for joining me, sincerely. Um, there's, I don't take anything for granted with my work here in, in, in YouTube, my friends and connections that I've made throughout the, the Facebook community, gaming. Um, and I hope that I've put out things that you find entertaining, interesting, and uh, want to continue because I've got so much more to put out for you and some exciting new projects to take me through into the new year and beyond. So, thank you very much. Love y'all. And I am Rob here at the Lair of Omnisai. I will see you, hopefully, the next time I crawl in front of the internet and make a video. Thank you, and farewell.